one thing about me on the very similar. You got it?
Gusto niyo ba na lang ako? Thank you for your support. I love you too. Ito na. Hindi na ako nag-video kanina ng scenery kanina. Pero, oh, ang ganda ng clouds kanina, sunset. Anyways, let's get the books. Okay. Ay, yay. Let us first discuss the books. Pakita ko lang yung mga books na I bought for the month of September and October before this day. Basta, bago mag October 23. Oo. Okay, first is The Last Boy and Girl in the World by I don't know how to pronounce this. Let's just see. By Mrs. M Mrs. By Miss Vivian. Mm -mm. And Actually, this is a love story that makes you think it's not actually the end of the world, but it sure does feel that way. My clear lang naman yung ano yung synopsis, pero hindi ko binasa. What if your town was sliding underwater and everyone was ordered to pack up and leave? How would you and your friends spend your last days together while the adults plan for the future, box up their possessions, and find new places to live? Keely Hewitt, Hewitt and her friends decide to go with a band. There are parties in abandoned houses, canoe races down Main Street. The goal is to make the most of every minute they still have together. And for Keely, Ke Keely, Kylie, ewan ko, the, that, that makes taking one last shot at the boy she's loved forever. Oh my god. Pakiligin mo ko ha, huwag mo ko i-disappoint. Anyways, binili ko to sa Robinsons and I think it was 50% off kasi. Um, NBS. Basta may sale yung NBS, oo. Yun na ang sasabihin ko. Okay. Excited ako dito. Kahit makapal siya, excited ako ba sa akin? Okay, next is Librong Itim. It's a Tagalog book and it's an anthology of short Philippine horror stories. Self-explanatory, puro Filipino short stories lang to. Horror! Ba't ko binili? Kahit tatakot yung tao? Hindi ko rin alam. Mm -mm. 
Again, ano, mura lang siya, 199. Ayun. And ilang stories na lang dito. Ang babae sa daan. Ayoko nga to basahin sa gabi. So, 10 short stories. So, ayun, ilang siya pa lang. Librong itim. Walang specific author kasi yung author sa mga stories dito is ano, 10 authors. Ayan. Nandun na lahat ng mga authors. Ayoko na bang gitin isa isa kasi ang dami nila. Opo. Next is a gift from my dear friend. Makakatouch. Kasi like, sorry na pero like, pero ang the thought, that's the thought that counts kasi may iba-iba sa mga kasama. Mga perfume, may Notebooks, nai, ay, marami pang iba. Ang bait niya talaga, opo, nakakatouch. Love you po. <laughs> Sabihin ko na, ano, wag nang apilito. Hi, Amanda, kung nanonood ka man. Love you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, this is Team Real. Bonak. Hindi <laughs> ko talaga alam, kasi hindi ako nagbabasa ng mga ganito. By, ano, Mm -mm. James Reed and Nadine Luce. Nadine Luce. We are all access pass into James Reed and Nadine Luce's world. So, papasok tayo sa love story nila. Hindi mm -mm. ako mahilig magbasa ng ganito, pero ang ganda talaga ng pagka... Ano? Ayan, oh. <laughs> Pagka-design ng mga pages. Parang magazine siya, pero story. Somewhat story. Mm -mm. Sayo yun, niregalo niya sa akin sa birthday ko. May isa pa ang libro eh. Ayoko na ipakita kasi napaka-special yun sa akin. Opo. Opo. Okay, next is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delira. As you can see, sale siya. Napoko siya sa NBS Robinsons. 93 pesos ang nata. Kasi may tag. Originally, Tinanin niya yung presyo sa originally. So, ayun. Basically, this girl, it begins as an assignment for English class. Write a letter to a dead person. However, si La Laurel chooses Kurt Cobain because her sister may love him and he died young. So, love letters to the dead. So, parang sinipagan tong babaeng to. Magsulat ng mga love letters para sa mga maring dead people na kalala niya. I think. It's not until Laura has written the truth about what happened to herself that she can finally accept what happened to May. So, ano nga ba nangyari kay May? Malalaman natin dito pag nilagbinasa natin. Actually, ang basic ko na ito nakikita sa National Bookstore. Kaso, hindi ko siya binibili kasi apakamahal. 500 plus sa National Bookstore pero nag-sale. So, ayun, binili ko na. <laughs> ayun ko na. Wala akong pakay kung ganito yung pages. At wala rin akong pakay kung nakapal. Patagal ko na itong gustong bilhin at binili ko na. End of story. Check. <laughs> Yan. Next is, alam kong... Diyos ko po. Alam kong Netflix movie na to. Which is... Ah, uh -oh, Netflix movie. Or, naging movie na siya. Which is, Five Feet Apart. And, I don't know the author. So, yan. Yan, 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 yan. Opo. Inalis ko na yung presyo, pero... <laughs> Nalala tuloy ako. Binili ko kasi to three days before my birthday. And then, may mga kasama akong kaibigan. <laughs> like, South Mall kami. And then, ayan, binili na ako. I think nahanap ko to sa section na 200 pesos below yung mga books. So, yun, ayan. I think this is 200 pesos and below. Uh -uh. So, Hindi ko alam kung alam niyo yung story nito. Basta ang alam ko lang is these two main characters are sick. And ito na. Wait lang. Can you love someone you can never touch? Stella Grant likes to be in control even though would five feet apart really be dangerous if it stopped their heart from breaking? Feeling ko bawal sila mag-touch. Ang gabi na sabog na utak ko. Even though her totally out of control lungs have sent her in and out of the hospital most of her life. So, parang, ito, si Stella, may parang, ano ko tayo explain? May lung disease siya that causes her to be 
in constant care, in constant watch by your family members. At this point, what Stella needs to control most is her distance from anyone or anything that might pass along an infection and jeopardize the possibility of a long transplant. Ah, kaya pala. So, ito may sakit. Long disease. And then, ito rin may sakit. The only thing real Newman wants to be in control is kung ganyan. He couldn't care less about his treatments with fantasy clinical trial. So, ayun. Feeling ko magkakainlaban tong dalawa. And then, they'll try to go against the odds of their diseases. And... Babasahin ko muna bago ko panoorin yung movie. Opo. Uh -uh. And then, may ano... Na... Pictures galing sa movie. Ayan. Yeah. Sabi daw na pinsa ko, maganda ka itong story sa Netflix. I think Netflix pero alam ko movie siya kahit sa anong panorin. And ang pogi niya daw, favorite character niya daw. Ayan! Next! Nahalala ko talaga yung trip namin dun sa ano, South Moon. Nung naggala ka. Anyways! Ah! Okay, next is The Meaning of Birds by J. Robin Brown. This is... As you can see dito sa dalawang characters natin, they are part of the LGBTQIA plus community and they are both lesbian. Yes, they are both lesbian. And then, ayun, wait lang sis. An unforgettable story that resonated deep in my bones. The meaning of birds will break your heart and then put it right back together again. Sabi niya. A profoundly moving, exquisitely written story of love, loss, grief, and healing these characters have imprinted on my heart. So I think, based from the, ayan, uh, sabi sabi din sa mga likod, sa likod na, apo, mga tao dyan. Ayan. And then, I think magkakakilala tong dalawang to, si Jess at si Vivi. Ang cute Vivi. Ang cute ang pangalan. Jessica has struggled with the anger building inside her, and being one of the only out teens in school hasn't, huh? Hasn't helped with help matters. But come sophomore year, all that things, all that changes when I cannot read that. <laughs> so they will find each other. They will become very very close with each other. They will become important to each other, and then some fights. Kakaran love story and then parang kakaran away away pero there will be a there will be a time of healing for these two characters. So I'm not particularly excited pero ang ganda ng cover and dala kay pa ng font kahit makapal siya we will know alam natin na this will be a very very fun reads fun reads and mabilis ang pili ka mabilis ang magbasa ng bias. <laughs> no other particular reason. Ah, because most of the edgy mga books related to LGBTIQA. Wait lang. LGBTQIA plus community related books. Choo choo. Is natutuwa ako. Mostly 4 to 5 stars sila. Especially yung Bagay Tayo by Jerry Vigrash. Naganda na ako dun sobra. Pero hindi ko mapakita kasi nasa hiraman siya. So, ayun. Okay, natutuwa na ako sa mga librong tungkol dun sa community niya. So, I want to read more. Di ba? Okay. Next. This is um, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I've heard about this book multiple times, pero I've seen people read this book multiple times, pero hindi ko lang talaga kung saan tungkol to. Wala siyang synopsis. Ayun, may synopsis. Eleanor, red hair, wrong clothes, standing behind him until he turns his head, lying beside him until he wakes up, making everyone else seem draper, 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 and flatter and never good enough. Eleanor. Park, he knows she'll love a song before he plays it for her. He laughs at her jokes before she can before she ever gets to the punchline there's a place on his chest just below his throat that makes her want to keep promises park so ayan din describe niya lang yung characters eleanor parang red hair ayan na nga oh set over the course of one school year this is the story of two star crossed teens 16 year olds smart enough to know what 
smart enough that first start Oh my gosh. Smart enough to know that first love almost never lasts, but brave and desperate enough to try. This reminds me of something that happened with me. Ayaw ko na po sabihin kung kanino o saan. Basta, let's leave it at that. Presyo, oh my god. Sorry. I bought this at Fully Book. 500 plus. And some cell phone. At the uh, 200 below, same with 5 feet apart. As a sapo. Tim, binili ko ng birthday ko. For birthday. Birthday ko, ko si Sari, like ko opo. <coughs> and dami kong memories ng araw na yun. Sorry na. Okay, next is Hell University by Night in Black. This was a gift to me by a friend of mine. Ang pakabait nyo. I love you po. Oh, oh. Uh ah, -oh, by me, by, by, by me. Monsieur, by Sir JM. Ang bait niya talaga. Binasa niya to dati. Tapos binigay niya lang sa akin. As a birthday gift. Nahanap niya lang daw. What pad store siya. And it's a Tagalog book. Natutuwa na talaga ako lately by Tagalog books. Kasi dahil sa bagay tayo. Hey, Jerry B. Crasha. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, dahil sa librong yun, gusto ko nga magbasa ng Filipino books. Or books written by Filipino authors. So, kahit hindi ako magaling sa Filipino, mag-intindi ng mga Filipino words, I still try my best to read books written by Filipino authors. So, Hell University, saan nga ba itong kulto? Isang tagong paaralan na hindi saklaw ng gobyerno kung saan legal ang pagpatay. <laughs> Marami sikreto ang nakakubli. Palagi may mali sa bawat kwento. Once you enter, there's no turning back. So that is Hell University. Never let your curiosity drive your own body. Welcome to Hell University. I'm excited to read this. And, sabi dito, Part 1. So, I had to buy the part 2. Of course. It's also a Wattpad story. And part 2 nga. And nahanap ko sa Robinson's. Uh-uh, -oh, Robinson's. Sale. Mm -mm. Where's the price? I forgot. Sale. Basta. Sale. Oh, po. So, continuation lang siya. Ng Helen first Hell University. So, ayun. Ang ganda. Oh, po. Lalo na to. Ang cute. Ang ganda. Oh, po. Okay, last book. <laughs> Sorry, na may nakita. Parang may nakita na ako. Anyways, last book is Train Man by... I cannot pronounce your name because this is in Japanese. Opo, this is a Japanese love story na ang unique ng pagka sulat opo, which is text chats. So, Train Man is all, is all about our young boy bashful and not overly brave defends a girl from an obnox from an obnoxious drunk on a Tokyo train so ayon then someone they exchange their numbers i'm not overly sure kung they exchange numbers pero girl sends boy a thank you pair of pricey hermes teacups and then akala niya doon na magtatapos ang kanyang pagkakilala dito sa mysterious girl na to hindi Nag chat silang dalawa o po, paano nakuha yung number di ko rin alam but this one turns to the world's largest online message board and asks for help so for him it's just the beginning so ayun nag chat na silang tuluyan magkakatuluyan na ba tong dalawang to dahil sa chats di ko rin alam the internet generation love story from Japan first Japanese written book for me, the international bestseller. So, ayun na mga librong binili ko. So, let's organize na. Oh, huwag gabi na. May pasok pa ako bukas. May test pa ako bukas. Ay, simulan na natin ito. Nasimulan ko na eh. I can turn back now. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh 
nakabusit ka dyan sa amin. Doon na pre-play mo. Oh my God! Nakayos ako dito. Yan. You. Tapos pinapastop niya pa music. Go! Kick.